I was truly surprised because the number of images that we got as submissions was larger than what I expected. We got almost 30,000, which, which is huge for a competition that's been only around for a year. Latin America was a great turnout, and, but and then all of a sudden to be far-reaching as, as Pakistan and Canada and obviously United States and Russia and China, you know, we sort of poked into every corner of the planet. We have a panel of judges who bring a wealth of experience and talent to this competition. And I believe that this particular jury is, you know, one of the best in the world. The colleagues that I'm working with here are tremendous. I really hope that poor old Vanessa will go on to keep on developing our conservation themes. They're coming through so powerfully in the choices that we're making as a jury today. I believe that as the competition grows in future, it will become only more powerful as we rally more photographers to our cause and together we build into a powerful force for nature. This generation of photographers is up and coming and clearly using their photography to tell conservation stories might be one of the most important things that comes out of Poor El Planeta. We need to deliver the message because what we have learned through this international experience is that there's a lot of people committed to really making a change, to really delivering a result on having a better planet left for their kids. Every other contest, it's like a celebration of pretty photography, but that's it. It sort of ends and dies with that contest. This now is the only contest globally that can truly make a difference. To me, the most surprising thing about the whole process of looking at these images has been just how beautiful our planet is, the enormous diversity of wildlife and plants and landscapes, and how lucky to live on planet Earth we are.